Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I wanted to share with you how I made the little umbrella for my Mary Poppins figure. And I thought and thought about how to do the handle for the umbrella. And when I was making it with, with bands, it was just flopping all over the place. So I ended up resorting to using wire, decorative wire, which I know um, those of you have who have made... Um, Courtney Nicole's Dragons, you're familiar with using wire. I had never used wire before. So this is the wire that I got. It's 12 gauge caliber decorative wire and I got it in black because I figured, well, that's the color that I'm doing her, um, her umbrella. I guess I could have used it in, in gold or brown or anything like that, but I, I just chose black. And what I'm, what I'm going to do is cut a length of it and it's quite easy to cut but you do need to use um, wire cutters now if you don't these are little craft ones if you don't have these I'm sure maybe one of your parents might have something like this or a toolbox lying around the house or something now the ends I've sort of and it's quite difficult to see I've bent them over okay and doubled them back on themselves and the same up here like that so it's a little bit longer than well these are i'm going to say three and a half inches so probably if you have about four four inches that would probably do the trick so let's pop her down here and we will measure off four inches of wire which comes to about here now obviously it doesn't need to be exact it's up to you what you decide to do so I'm going to just try and gently helps if I have the cutters the right way doesn't it and these are these are very small ones but there we go that's how I did that now then the other thing I did was using a pair of pliers I'm going to put things away so that I'm not in getting messy the other thing I did was using a pair of pliers I gently and the wire is quite easy to turn I made like a little hook like this okay and you can straighten it up with your fingers I did this on both sides all right just to make a little hook I'm not ready to um, to join them in together just yet but make a little hook sort of both ends like this all right and now the next part is to actually make the umbrella piece. Now the umbrella I'm going to do using um, crochet, a crochet technique. I will go slowly for those of you who have never done it before. And um, I'm going to make the what we call a magic ring, which is how we start. I'm going to do it on my loom because I feel that you can see better what I'm doing. So I'm going to zoom in. And don't be frightened about this this is just little slip knots that we're doing okay you're going to take a single band and you're going to wrap it around one peg of your loom once and twice okay so you've got this single band wrapped around you're going to take your hook we're going to use one two three four and five bands okay and we're going to what we're going to do put your hook down the center of this band so it pops out the other side and you're going to take your first band and pull it through like that. So it's it's either side, one either side. Pop it back on your hook. And this is where we're going to do a little slip knot. You're going to take the one closest to you up and over. And there's your little slip knot. Now you're just going to take that and budge it around your peg. So it's sitting here. Keep it on your hook though. Okay. And then we're going to go back down again through that, through the, um, well, we can call this an end cap, the middle. And grab your next band and you're going to do the same. Pull it back through. Keep it on your hook. There's your first band here. There we go. That, that's up there. Here's your second band. You've got the front loop and the back loop. Take the front loop of your second band and pull it over the back loop. So you've got another slip knot. You've got two little slip knots on your, on your hook. You're going to join those together by taking the front loop over the back loop like that so it's joined together with a little little loop budget around and 
poke back down we're going to do our third band we're going to do exactly the same thing here's your loop that's on your hook from your previous one here's your new band you've got a front loop and a back loop and you're going to take the front loop over the back loop and then you're going to join these two slip knots together by taking the front one over the back one and budge it around let's do that for the fourth band pull it through the front loop over the back loop you made a little slip knot and then join these two together the front loop over the back loop budge it around here's our last band that we're doing push down through that band pull it back through the front loop over the back loop and then join these two together like that so you've got one loop on your hook and you're going to hang on to that loop and take these others off your loom pop it over here you don't need that anymore you're going to evenly spread these around so because at the moment it looks like a semicircle but if you budge them around just a little bit just gently ease them around like that okay there we go now in most cases I will use what's called a stitch marker okay and and a lot of the people that are into uh, luma groomy as we call it will have bought these whoops throwing it at myself these little stitch markers and you can just pop them on your stitches to mark where the front is and where the back is now a lot of people won't have stitch markers if they've never ever done crochet with loom bands before that's okay you don't need to worry you can actually use a c-clip so here I've got some c-clips well I've got about a gazillion c-clips actually and I'm going to open my packet of c-clips take out now if you have the coloured ones that's even better because you'll be able to clearly see where it is take out a little c-clip and that can act the same or an s-clip doesn't really matter all right so what we're going to do if you have a look at your this is called your magic ring you've got five little stitches around here if you look you're looking for your little teardrops this is a teardrop here this is number one okay and this is number two and number three and number four number five is going to be on your hook so you're going to push your hook through this first stitch you've got two little loops to go through because that little teardrop has two loops to it if you can see it goes round like that so push your hook through both of them and we're going to take another black band pop it on the end of your hook pull it through and reclaim so that band has gone through that first little stitch again you're going to you're going to make a slip knot take this front part over the back and then you're going to join these two together by taking this front one over the back now this is where we would put our stitch marker because we're indicating that this is our first stitch so if you don't have a stitch marker use your little C clip stretch out your band and pop your C clip if you can I usually use the stitch marker and my fingernails are getting in the way <laughs> I'm never good with C clips anyway for the best for the most part anyway so pop your little C clip on there we go like so now we don't want that to be too tight so loosen it up a bit now there's our stitch marker that indicates this is our first stitch what we're going to do is what's called an increase and we're going to do two little single crochets that little slip knot we did is a single crochet so we're going to go back into this is stitch number one where we just did that one here we're going to go back into that little loop again and we'll do another band slip knot in it take the front one over the back one and join it together with this one front one over the back one now we can move to stitch number two which is here I'm finding that my camera is out of visual range a little bit let's try and adjust that go through stitch number two you've got two little loops to that stitch again we're going to do two bands in this one two single crochets here's your first band pull it through and take the front over the back and then join them together with the front over the back of this and again go through it again that same stitch because you're doing two and then with the front over the back and then join these together by moving 
the front over the back. Now we can move to stitch number three, which is here. Push your hook through. Again, we're going to do two. Push your hook through and grab your band. Front over the back and then front over the back. Do your second one in this stitch. Pull your band through. Front over the back and front over the back. Here's our fourth stitch. Single band, pull it through the front over the back and the front over the back. That's your first stitch in that stitch. Go through it again. All right. Now we started with five little stitches, didn't we? We did five little stitches. Because we're doing two stitches in each of these, I'm on my last one here, we're going to end up with ten stitches, which is why it's called an increase. Front over the back, front over the back. Let's do our last stitch in here. Pull your band through, front over the back front over the back. Now if you'd like to count where we have our C clip, that's our first stitch. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number ten is on our hook. Now what we're going to do, push your hook through the first stitch. It's the one where you've got your your um, C clip. I'm going to take the C clip off if I can. There we go. I'm going to use my stitch marker because it's what I'm familiar with. <laughs> So you're through your first stitch, you're going to get another band, pull it through, you're going to do a single crochet which takes means you take the, the front over the back and then join it together with the stitch that was on your hook. We're going to put our stitch marker or your S clip or C clip on there. This is the beginning of what we call a new round because we're going round again. Now that was our single crochet. In this next stitch, the second stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. And the pattern now is one, two, one, two, one, two. So let's do two single crochets in this one. There's our first single crochet. Go back through that second stitch. Here's our second single crochet. Now this is our third stitch. Push your hook through. We're just doing one in this one. So pull your band through, front over the back, front over the back. We're on the fourth stitch and we're doing two. Here's our first one, front over the back in a little slip knot, join them together. Push through that fourth stitch again, join them. So our fifth stitch is just going to be a single, just one. Front over the back, join together, and our sixth stitch is going to be two. If it helps, you can put them, just lay them out so that you know what you're on. Okay? So this is our sixth. Oops. Front over the back. And join back through again front over the back and join here's our seventh stitch front over the back and join now we're on the eighth stitch which is two now, as you get faster what you find you do is you just use your hook and you twist your hook like this so you're not actually picking at the bands with your fingers but as I said if, it, if you're just picking it over one at a time that's absolutely fine but what you'll find is as you get faster you just twist your hook like that and it speeds things up just a little bit and this is our last stitch for this round so we're doing two there's the first one and here is our second one and as you can see, we're starting to form a little concave circular sphere. We're back at our first stitch. So push your hook through, grab your next band. It's going to be a single crochet. So reclaim your band, 
one over the other, join and move your stitch marker. Now this pattern for this round is again going to be a single followed by a double. So that we just did our single, so we need a double, a single, a double, a single, a double. Let's just lay a few out anyway. So there we go. So for this next stitch we're doing two. So here's our stitch, do you see? Because we already just did this one here, you've got your band in it. So this is our second one here. Push your hook through and we'll do two in this. Here's our first one. One, and back through it. Two. Our third stitch is just a single. Our fourth stitch is two for our increase. So here's one and back through that fourth stitch. Two. Here's our fifth stitch is a single. And our sixth stitch is an increase. So one and two. Now I am going to link um, my tutorials for how to do these stitches in the uh, top right hand corner. You'll see a little eye for information. If you click on that it will take you in a separate window to where I do very slow individual tutorials on how to do these stitches. So if you are a bit confused click on that and it will take you to the right tutorial to help you okay because if you haven't done this before it might be a little bit daunting so two in this one and we'll do one in this one and two in this one We'll do one in this one. And two. And we'll finish on one. That's our last one for this round. Now, we're going to do one more round and it's going to be the same again. It's going to be a single followed by an increase. Here's our first stitch. Move your stitch, hook your hook through. Do your first single crochet. Up and over and join. Move your stitch marker. You know now that this is where you're going to finish. That was our single. So we're doing a double, well not a double, a, an increase. Again, if you need to, lay your bands out. Oops, throw them around the joint, that's fine too. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a couple of them laid out. So this is my second stitch, I've got to do two in here. So here's my first one. And back through that stitch, we'll do a second one. We'll do a single in here. And two in this one. One. a single and two a single and two one back through Two, a single, and we'll do two in this one, a single, one. 
two, one, one, and two, one, one, and Two, one, one, and two, one, one, and two. One, this is our last stitch. One and two. Now to finish, you're going to push your hook through the first stitch here. Take your stitch marker out, single band, pull it through, and you're going to add your loop to that. And this is called a slip stitch. So you have one band holding those two together. And you're going to go one over the other and pull it into a slip knot. Now you're going to hide this tie off band. If you look, you can see these little inside loops. We're just going to hide that tie off band in these little loops. Now I hope you're feeling really proud of yourself. If you haven't done Lumigurumi before, you just did. You just crocheted with bands. So please be proud of yourself. So this is her little umbrella. Um, it's looking a bit flat, but that one's looking at that one looks a little. I think I probably made it a little different, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. What you're going to do with the hook of your wire, you're going to go through the center, and you're going to come out through the center there, and you're going to come out through one of the holes next to it, like that. Okay, and we're going to squeeze with our pliers. We're going to squeeze this end shut and this is to keep things a little safer so that people don't stab themselves. So squeeze that shut, angle the wire, there we go. It's looking more like a parasol isn't it than an umbrella but that's okay. Now the other end we're going to put, oh that one's, she's already got one, let's get the other one going to pop through her hand and I've just popped it through the two bands not the end cap the two bands and then again grab your pliers and gently does it we don't want any pinched fingers here your fingers are precious you loom with them <laughs> we're gonna pinch that closed Move the end cap, there we go, like that. And that is how I did her little umbrella. Now you might want it a little bit shorter, and that's fine too. But when you consider that she's coming down, oh, let's zoom out so you can see what on earth I'm, I've done here. Uh, that's bigger, it's smaller, there we go. So there she is with her little umbrella. And as I said, it's, it's for decoration, really. Well, it's all for decoration, isn't it? But uh, it's not going to stand up by itself. I suppose you could probably, uh, if you wanted to, attach it to the back of her head, like so, to keep it in place. But I don't think that's really going to work terribly well. It's not going to look all that spiffy if you do that. But there she is. There's her little umbrella and her little bag and Mary Poppins. Having a super califragilistic expialidocious time. <laughs> Take care. Hope you enjoy making her. Bye.